Hi, I'm Pam and I'm here to talk about retro video games. Today's review was a request by longtime viewer and commenter Lord JS. It's Gunsmoke on NES. Gunsmoke was developed by Capcom. Originally created as an arcade game in 1985, it was ported to the NES in 1988. The game is a vertical scrolling shooter that takes place in the Wild West. You play Billy Bob, a bounty hunter and cowboy who's out to rid the town of Hicksville of its outlaws. Through each of the game's six levels, you'll face a bevy of enemies and eventually face off against the outlaw you are hunting. Though at first glance, Gunsmoke may seem like any other non-space shoot-'em-up, there are a couple different mechanics that make it unique. The first is the shooting itself. Rather than only being able to shoot straight in front of you, you can shoot in three directions. B shoots to the left, a to the right, while holding A and B together makes you shoot straight. I enjoyed this extra bit of control, though pushing A and B at once did make my hand get sore rather quickly. There are also multiple weapons in the game. Your default weapons are dual pistols which have unlimited ammo. You can buy other weapons from shops with the points you collect by playing the game. There's a shotgun, which fires a spread shot, a machine gun, which fires like your pistols but at a much higher rate, and a magnum, which is slower, but a lot stronger. You'll only get the ammo for these if you already own the gun, which you lose if you die. There are also a number of other items you can pick up from downed enemies. Cowboy boots will increase your speed, and rifles will increase the range of your weapons. Cattle skulls will take away your speed and range boost, though. POW symbols instantly kill any enemies on screen. The horse, which can also be bought in shops, allows you to take a few more hits before losing a life. I think I could have taken much more advantage of the horse during my playthrough. I only ended up getting on it once when I found it in the first level. There are also Yashishi symbols, which are common to Capcom games. Blue makes you temporarily invincible, while red gives you an extra life. Another unique thing about Gunsmoke is its use of wanted posters. The end boss of each level won't appear until you obtain it, and it's not easy to find. The wanted posters are hidden and totally invisible until you shoot them multiple times. The only way of knowing where it is, is by the sound. Shooting at the location of the wanted poster makes the same sound as shooting a barrel. When getting swarmed by enemies, I found it tough to keep an ear out for this. I only ended up finding the wanted poster in about half the levels. If you don't find the wanted poster, the level will continue forever. Thankfully, you can also purchase it. It's not cheap, but you do what you need to do to get to the end of the stage. The game has a good difficulty curve. It starts out not too challenging, but I found each level got harder by introducing more enemies, allowing them to shoot in different directions, and changing the level design so you had less of a clear path through and room for movement. There was one way of increasing difficulty that I wasn't a fan of. In later levels, enemies start appearing on screen from behind you. Since you can't shoot backwards, they were a pain in the butt. The one exception to the smooth difficulty curve is the bosses. Though the first boss was kind of a pushover, it was the second boss, Cutter, who throws boomerangs at you, that I found to be the most difficult in the entire game. There are six levels and six bosses in total. The bosses don't appear alone, the regular enemies will appear in varying numbers as well. Bandit Bill is the first boss. He'll fire a single stream of bullets at you, which isn't too hard to avoid. He'll drop to the ground and become invulnerable after taking a hit, but it's just a matter of waiting for him to get back up. The difficulty with the second boss, Cutter, comes from the unpredictability of his boomerangs. They don't travel in a smooth arc, they kind of go all over the place, and it's easy to be taken by surprise, especially with his minions shooting at you and dropping bombs that explode after a few seconds as well. 
As I mentioned, Cutter was the most challenging boss for me, though later bosses increase the difficulty by using weapons that shoot in multiple directions, like your shotgun, have higher health, disappear and reappear, or even have to be defeated twice. Gunsmoke isn't the most visually appealing game. The color palette is quite harsh with a lot of overly vibrant oranges, greens, and reds, and the animations are quite simple. There's a fair amount of variety in the levels though, with typical Wild West areas like towns, deserts, forests, and graveyards. Enemies are also your typical western fare. Cowboys, Indians, ninjas… ninjas? Alright, just go with it. Overall, Gunsmoke was a lot of fun to play. Though I found the wanted posters to be a bit of an odd decision that really just served to artificially lengthen the game, I did find the gameplay, the shooting mechanics, and the variety of weapons made for a very enjoyable time. If you like shoot 'em ups but want a break from spaceships, give Gunsmoke a try. That's it for today. Likes, shares, and comments are always appreciated. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.